Hello, this is Michael O'Grady and welcome to the first of probably 13 or 14 um, s tutorial sessions that run one after the other looking at the intricacies of Artisteer 3 for WordPress. So you can see in here you can go to .NET Nuke, Blogger, Joomla, WordPress etc. Or create your own website and blog. It really is a fabulous package. But these uh, sessions of tutorials are going to look at WordPress. So let's go in here. I'll just tailor this to the right size. When we're going to Artisteer, we always end up with this uh, blue layout. Uh, the sheet leaves a gap here. Um, slightly rounded corners, two columns, one and two. And it's all about changing this to what we want. The global broad brush approach, uh, I'm sure you've seen before, is to suggest design. And this looks at randomly selecting colours, themes, and just gives a whole range of totally different layouts. Uh, I like using this just to get inspiration. You'll have uh, a particular theme you want, and some of these will just be absolutely no good whatsoever. Don't worry too much about colours, it's really the layout because we'll go in and we'll alter colours, we'll change uh, the header pictures, the text and just everything. So you're just looking for inspiration and we'll come around uh, here and we'll get one we like. Let's, uh, let's stop on that. Now we can go into each of these 11 different sections along the top from colours and fonts to footer and we'll be doing this in the next set of uh, 11 tutorials so this will be t uh, session 1, 2, sorry, 2, 3, 4, 5 etc. This is 1. So just to show you where we are in here, as I hover over these different elements there highlighting, they put an orange box around. This is the header. If I was to click on it, and I will, um, the header here becomes highlighted and we get the header options. So let's go back to ideas. We've got articles, menu, sidebar, etc. We've got down here footer. Now without going into any of these, I can fine-tune it by suggesting colours and these now just cycle randomly through a set of colours. The pictures are uh, colour coordinated. Uh, we have sometimes you see the same picture with a colour over the top. This is taking the colours uh, and altering the transparency overlay over the top. So we go through here and pick colours that uh, I sort of liked. Let's say that. Uh, let's say I didn't like that font but I'll just click through uh, some suggested fonts. Okay, so let's say I like that one. And suggested layout. This is the um, this is two column or article here and menu here. The layout will do one, two, or three uh, column. So I'll, I'll stay with that one. Suggested background picture. Um, oh, that's quite nice. We'll just see see what else we've got though. Okay, so I'll stay with that. And suggested sheet. This is the, the width, the gaps at the top, the rounded corners. Okay, so it's cycling through all of these. I'll stay with that one. It's, we seem to have lost the header, but we can get the uh, header back. The sidebar, actually, um, I'm, I'm quite liking that. Uh, I'm going to suggest uh, an alteration. The problem with uh, Artisteer at the moment, uh, unless someone tells me otherwise, there isn't a back button. So if I didn't like this, I couldn't go back. And I can't seem to click through to get the, uh, the one I want. Or I'd have to click through so many times to get through the one I want. So let's say I like that. Suggest a header. This will put one in. So we just keep cycling through till we get uh, a size. Pictures, overlays. Okay, well, that looks quite interesting. And suggest a menu. So down here, left, right, buttons, tabs, text. Okay. You can get all sorts of changes with this. Let's say we like that one. And then the article design. You can see the article looks like this. It's probably a little over wide and we can change that 
of course we can change that um, sizes of pictures position of pictures uh, whether we've got text icon uh, text and icons or just text all our uh, lists tables and comments here our quotes uh, are changed okay so let's say we we like that that's our starting point now for the next set of tutorials so we'll stop there and uh, meet me back in uh, part two where we'll look at colors and fonts